28 seconds of round number nine. The winner by knockout victory and new WBO light middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. Canelo. I think the 50,000 plus people here tonight were treated to a good show. You came out in the first round and totally had your way with him, but he was able to get his offense going a little bit as the fight wore on. What happened? Así es, como lo dije. Primero que nada, quiero agradecer a toda la gente que está aquí. First, first of all, I want to thank everybody that's here. Les dije que les iba a dar una pelea y les iba a traer el campeonato y aquí está. I told you I was going to give you a great fight and bring you the championship and here it is. Contestando tu pregunta, sí lo empecé dominando, pero en el segundo round me me lastimé la mano. I started controlling him, but in the second round I hurt my hand. Me me lastimé mi mano derecha y tuve que usar utilizar la izquierda más y y y la derecha nada más cuando cuando era necesario, pero fue por eso más que nada. I hurt my right hand, so I had to use it my left more often, and I only use sparingly my right hand. But that's what happened. You were dedicated to those body punches early in the fight. Did you think they would be enough to score the knockout as the fight progressed? Así es, así es. Lo sentí, lo sentí muy fuerte en los primeros asaltos. Entonces quise empezar a golpear abajo para ir dominando poco a poco. Y gracias a Dios. Me resultó el trabajo. I, I felt he was very strong at the beginning, so I felt I had to put that body work in so that slowly he would dwindle, and that did my job. What is it about aggressive fighters that bring out the best in you? Your most spectacular performances come against them. No sé, yo creo que cuando se dan buenas peleas es cuando se acoplan los estilos. De estos tipos de estilos, yo soy un contragolpeador natural y y por eso es que me adapto a estos estilos y La verdad que lo disfruto, lo disfruto mucho. You get great fights when matches fit, matches fit well, and I'm a counter puncher, and so I enjoyed it very much, and for this fight I did that, enjoy it. Okay, here comes the obligatory Triple G question, which you're going to be asked at every fight until that fight happens. Last fight, he also has an aggressive style that turned, that, that, promises to make a great fight with you. After your last fight, I asked you about him. You said, I don't mess around, I'm paraphrasing. And while no one questions your willingness to fight, your promoter seems reluctant to make that fight right away. And you seem to be going along with that plan. I think the boxing world wants to know why. Mira, yo no le tengo miedo a nadie. You know, I fear no one. Yo nací para esto. Y aunque no le guste, a mucha gente no le guste, yo soy el mejor boxeador en este momento. I was born for this. And even though many people may not like it, I am the best fighter right now. Gracias a toda la gente por eso. Y contestando a tu pregunta, hace aproximado un mes, hace aproximado un mes atrás, un, un mes atrás, Le ofrecimos lo doble o lo triple para hacer la pelea. About, about a month ago or so, we offered him twice or three times as much to make the fight. No lo queríamos decir antes de esta pelea porque le tengo un gran respeto a mis rivales y por eso te lo estoy diciendo ahora. Hace aproximado un mes le ofrecimos lo doble o lo triple casi para pelear. Nomás están que conteste y estamos listos. You know, I didn't want to say anything because I respect all my rivals. But about a month ago, we offered him twice or three times. But we're ready. We're ready for him. And he just didn't want to accept. Because you've shown throughout your career an almost recklessness in terms of who you will fight, even when it doesn't make sense that you'd fight a guy very dangerous w without a big payday, yet you've done it. How do you feel about the fact that your promoter seems to have a plan that postpones the Triple G fight and the fans to some looks like you're ducking Triple G as though you're taking a bullet for your promoter? Como te dije, somos un equipo, somos un equipo y no le voy a echar la culpa a, a mi promotor ni a nadie más. 
Somos un equipo, pero yo no le tengo miedo a nadie. As I said, we're a team. We are a team. And I'm not going to blame my promoter or anyone else, but I fear no one. Yo mis 26 años he peleado con los mejores del mundo, he hecho historia. Y como lo dije, a muchos no les va a gustar, pero soy el mejor del pe peleador del momento ahora. ¡Y viva México! I'm 26 years old. I fought against the best in the history. I fought against the best. And like I said it before and I say now, I am the best at this moment in time. Long live Mexico. And I will point out that as a fighter, once Oscar De La Hoya got a hold of his own career, he never ducked anyone. Liam, obviously disappointed, although you couldn't be disappointed about your effort. What happened tonight? It was just like, it's too cute for me to be honest with you, Max. Like, you know, I have no excuses, but from my point of view, my timing was just so off, I, I haven't done much sparring, but that's no SUZ, it was too cute for me, I couldn't really land that on clean, and, you know, it, it's really just too good for me on the night. Too good, too cute, too good, too skillful? Yeah, yeah, definitely, you know, I was, I was slow and I had no timing to even make him think twice, but it was one of them, I thought I'd like, kind of take over late, but again, he was, he was cute, I never really landed the body like I'm much too, you know, he, he, he caught the body shots well and, you know, he landed his own. Well, it was a very courageous performance and I think the crowd appreciates your toughness tonight. Thank you, Liam.